I have been working really hard in Unity, and uh, basically here's the script I've got for my uh, my program touch animator. I've been working hard on an update for it. As you can see, this script is pretty big. It's almost 3,000 lines of code long. So I was getting to the point where Mono developed the um, the uh, code editor that comes with Unity was getting so slow that I could barely type in it. It was it was so hard to type. Uh, every time I would type some sort of keyword, like for example button here or something, it would just slowly pop up the letters and Mono Develop was just getting in my way. So I found this new uh, script editor called Sublime Text, which actually has a lot of really cool features and it is super, super fast. So I downloaded Sublime Text. Uh, it's free to download, but you should, if you want to support it or buy it or something, it costs money if you want to, oops, if you want to uh, support it, but you can try it for free. And I don't think there's any limit on the time you can use to try it, but uh, go ahead if you like it and help them out. Anyway, this uh, the website will show you some of the stuff, the cool stuff that it does. But uh, once I started uh, using Sublime Text and got into it, uh, I realized that uh, it, it wasn't configured out of the box to handle uh, scripting in Unity. So let me show you a couple of the features that you'll need, uh, workflow you'll need to go through in order to get Sublime Text to work with Unity. Uh, first thing you need to do is go into Unity, and then once you've got Sublime Text set up, go to your Unity Preferences. And under External Tools for the External Script Editor, just go ahead and browse for your Sublime Text. All right, and then once you do that, uh, let's go ahead and and once you go ahead that and and click on the gear, and go to Edit Script or double click, click on a script in here, it will open it up in Sublime Text and not Model Develop. The next thing you need to do is you need to um, download some of these um, what they call packages or basically plugins for Sublime Text. If you go to this website here called hollowville.com, then it walks you through some of the things that you need to do. This guy named Jacob, who's really cool, he uh, built some packages or plugins for uh, Sublime Text to work with Unity. In order to um, install these plugins, you first have to install what they call the package control or enable the package control in uh, Sublime Text. So go to wbond.net and copy this uh, copy this command here. All right, And then go to Sublime Text. Inside Sublime Text, now I'm going to uh, be using Mac shortcuts here. Uh, command tilde, oops, control tilde, sorry. Control tilde will bring up your it will bring up your uh, uh, terminal window, and then you can type, you can paste that command into there. And once you've done that, that will enable the package control. All right. And then all you have to do after that, once the package control is set up, is hold on Command Shift P, and that'll bring up this list of all the different commands that you can access from inside of uh, Sublime Text, and start typing Unity in the search window. And as you can see, I've already installed all of them but it will give you a, a description of the package and just click on it and it will install and just keep doing that for everything that shows up for Unity. And then all of the code highlighting and stuff will be uh, now available to you. So for example, um, when you click on the, after you've done that, when you click on the list of uh, languages that you want to have your code highlighting and stuff uh, support, just go down to Unity 3D and choose the one for you, which in my case is JavaScript. All right. And then also, um, once you have those packages installed, if you right-click on a Unity keyword and go to Search Unity Reference, then it will come up, take you to the docs, and search for the reference for you. So you can save a lot of time with that. All right. So that's the basics of using it and setting it up. Uh, let me go over a little bit uh, about Sublime Text, some of the stuff I thought was cool. One thing is that it's extremely fast, like I said. Um, it, uh, it has, let me go down here, find a place where they have it. It has code folding, which I don't know why MonoDevelop doesn't have, but you can fold your code up, which is extremely useful, especially for finding out, okay, where, it's really hard sometimes to see where your brackets end and stuff like that. So the code folding is really a nice feature. This is a unique thing too. It's got this minimap version of the code. So you can just kind of, it's, for one thing, it's very, it's much quicker than just, dragging like a scroll bar around and you can I know you can't actually read the code here but it gives you an idea of where 
big blocks of code are. So, and after working with your code for a while, you start to realize kind of generally where in the code certain functions are. So you can kind of drag up and down and get a really good feel for that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, this is kind of a strange thing. I'm not sure why they have this set up. Uh, also, you can open up this um, under the View tab. You know, you can hide and show the mini-map there. And uh, you can show the, the folders over here. Basically, what you can do is you can take any kind of folder and you can drag it into this uh, open files view. And then you can see all the folders from in there. Uh, the one strange thing, I'm not sure why it is like this. But uh, I like to have two versions of the code up at the same time in two different columns. And this does, of course, if you go to view and go to your layout, uh, you can choose two columns here to view, but uh, as you can see, you can't actually open the same thing up in the same uh, two columns. So what you gotta do is go to File, oops, all right, go to File, New File into View, oops, all right. With, select the file that you want to open up in the new column and then choose that command that says file, new file into view and then it opens up a new tab and then you can drag it over to the other column. All right. So what I like to do is have one uh, section, one column with all the uh, kind of because I put my variables up at the top uh, right before the start function and then the other column is for the actual function that I'm working on at the moment so that I can access my variables and my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my main function I'm working on at the same time. All right, so that's a kind of a very basic overview of uh, using these, uh, you know, Sublime Text with Unity. So uh, if you're into looking for a new code editor for Unity, uh, then you might want to check this out because it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of cool features and definitely once you start getting to over a couple thousand lines of code, uh, Mono Develop just slows down to a snail's pace. So I uh, hope you enjoy this and hope it gets you get some use out of it.